Hey guys, uh, part two um, of the identifying injection pumps. Um, so we're into uh, the VP44 is going to be our first one, and then we'll go into the common rails. Um, so anyways, let's get after here. VP44, probably the most hated one of them all. Now these ones are, um, oh actually I should mention, uh, the P-pump is cooled and lubricated by engine oil, um, where the VE is not. It's only um, fuel that is done by, by fuel. Um, and I don't know if that really had much to do with it, but it would have been nice if they were lubricated by oil. Um, just not so much the case. Anyways, um, I honestly never had a lot of... I never did a lot of screwing around with the VP44s. I didn't like them. Uh, but we will get into doing some because lots of guys do like them and don't get me wrong they have their uses um, and the pumps are a lot better with all the updates and everything now that they have versus the older ones now so here is a vp44 injector much different look than the p pump or the 12 valve injector and basically the line on these ones screws right on here. These ones, there's a connector tube that goes in and then the line screws to that and that's what holds the fuel in there. So just thought I would mention that, but that's what the injector looks like. Let me get that off of my finger. So that's what that looks like. So um, these came in an SO and an HO. Um, there again, I never got heavily into that. Um, I know lots of guys like the SO pumps over the HO pumps. I personally just P-pump them. So I guess that's, I don't know. Like I said, we will get into doing some of that. I, I'm gonna play around with some um, now that they're they're really very, they're actually the cheapest. They're obviously the cheapest Cummins engine that you can buy as far as the whole schmozzle of them. So we might play around with them some just to say that I have, I guess show you guys some cool stuff i guess and we can learn learn along the way um so these ones um the detriment of these ones was you want to make sure lots of fuel it has good fuel pressure get rid of the factory fuel pump um clean fuel lots of fuel lubrication um this is the brain for the injection pump and lots of times what happens is these overheat um, when you have an overheat issue, um, pumps basically junk. There is some videos out there, and I've never done it. Um, guys going in there and resoldering broken or bad connections and stuff. Um, you know, if you want to check them out. And maybe there again, maybe we'll, this is a pump that's bad. Um, maybe one day we'll get into, I have, I am not a half a dozen of them. Um, so maybe we'll tear one apart and see what it looks like inside. So that's the VP44. So that's, like I said... Your 1998 and a half to 2002. So here's a CP3. Here's a CP3 for a um, 03 to 07.59. Um, there again, part number is on the back right here. But I will show you a trick how to tell whether it's a it's a. Um, a 6.7 or a 5.9. Now, looking at this bore, if you guys are ever buying one of these and you don't know exactly what you're looking for, the industrials are different. This one, so the one on the left is an industrial. One on the right is from a truck. And this hub is bigger on the industrial. Pump is very similar. It's just that this case is different. So if you're ever buying one, be careful because if you buy this one, it does not fit in here. So just to be forewarned. Now, so that's the CP3, which is basically is just a pressure pump and it pressurizes the rail, which goes to your injector. Now, this is what the injector looks like to um, all the five nine common rails, so 03 to 0759. Um, now, there is two different ones of these there's the um, 305 horse, which is commonly known as a 503. And then there is the 325 horse is 0304. 04 and a half, they went to the 325 horse, which is the 325 horse is a 505. That's what they're commonly known as, which is the last three digits of the part number. Um, and the I personally liked the 305 horse better, and they had less injection events than the um, 
earlier ones or than the later ones sorry and I, I think that they lasted longer and also to the 305 horse um you can take all that injection system put it in a six seven and run the six seven long block in a five nine truck without modification so um that's that now we get into the next one which is going to be your six sevens of seven and a half to let's see like we were talking earlier 2018 19. now pumps look very similar now something that i want you guys to look at or to notice is if you look here on these pumps so five nine six seven these pumps see how there's so here this is your return line this is your feed line five nine pump six seven pump return line feed line so that is the easiest way to tell if you have a five nine or a six seven pump if you haven't been buying one now you can run a five nine a five nine pump on a six seven or a six seven pump on a five nine it's just that you need to switch those lines around how they go so um the six seven pump actually does deliver a little bit more fuel it's not an astronomical amount but a little tiny a little bit more so if you had a six seven pump you put it on a five nine you potentially do have a little bit more fuel like i said not astronomical but there is a little bit more there um and i have done that swap before like i said i don't know whether it made any difference but it made me feel good so um but that is something to, to watch for so like i said um return so five nine pump return feed so it's on the top and then on a six seven pump return feed is on the back not on the top so just to be forewarned i've had guys that have had problems with that so i just thought i'd mention it so six seven very similar there again like we were just talking on the pumps pump Um, like I said, pump is basically the same. Um, injectors do look completely different and the rails and stuff are different, um, but similar process. Um, these do run higher pressure. The the, the five nine stuff only runs um, like 160 MPA. I don't know what that is in PSI off the top of my head. And then these ones run 180 MPA, so a little bit higher. Everything in, for the injection side of things is metric. Um, which is a pain being that I do everything in standard, even though I'm from Canada. But, um, so these ones are 07 to, uh, there is a bunch of different ones in there. I shouldn't say that. Pickup and then cabin chassis are different. Um, and then you get into the newer trucks, they're different. So you want to make sure that you, if you guys go back and watch my video on how to read, um, the part numbers on the injectors, you want to make sure if you're buying used injectors, for your truck make sure the part numbers are the right part numbers for your truck or you will have issues um, or can have issues depending on if you have the right part numbers or not so um that pretty much wraps this one up um like i said i just wanted to i've had a few guys asking the difference between pumps and all that type of stuff so um i just wanted to uh let you know what let you guys know um what's what and uh i guess we'll kind of go from there um i might i might split this video up just so that you guys are aware um i might do um the 12 valves and then all the 24 valves together um so if it is split up there'll be part one part two actually i think it'll be split up it's going to be part one part two um so anyways uh i guess um thanks for watching uh please like subscribe uh you got any comments questions hit me down below appreciate it thanks guys